Hi there, welcome to Libby Mabel's Closet. My name is Jane and in today's video it's all about those 25 free t-shirts that I vlogged about not so long ago. So I've made another three off the list and I thought I'd share with you what I've made and what I think of them. Welcome back. So yes, t-shirts. So I've made another three and two of them I've made I will wear. They won't be going in the pyjama drawer, that's for sure, because A, the fabric was much better quality and B, they almost cut, almost cut the mustard in the t-shirts that I was trying to add to my wardrobe and I will wear them both. Uh, but my favourite is the one I'm wearing, but we'll leave the best to last. So on to the first one. This is the, let me remember, this is the Boyfriend Tea from Life So Savoury. And I'll put the links to all the t-shirts, everything that I mentioned, as always, in the description box. So if you want to refer to them, just click on those links and it should take you straight to those patterns. So yeah, so this is the Boyfriend Tea. And I did, let me just get my notes. And I did the large size, but I think, in hindsight, it's a little bit too big for me. I'll pop some pictures up of me wearing it in the garden. It's a great length t-shirt, really nice and long, and it comes way past your waist, almost, well, to your hips, almost to your hips, so you can wear it loose over your trousers or whatever you're wearing, and you can also wear it tucked in. It doesn't have an awful lot of shaping to it, but it is less boxy than the second one that I'm gonna show you. It's got, um, I think the sleeves are too big. They're, well, they're not too big. It's just, I think it's the style. I'm not, it's not the style really that I was after in a t-shirt really. Now, now I've made six. There's two t-shirts that I know are gonna be my go-to t-shirts. The style that I want, I know they're the ones I'm gonna to refer to and make again and again. And also I can adapt them as well if I want. But this style and the second style a little bit too loose fitting for me i wanted a t-shirt a little bit like my silene t-shirt which is i love that t-shirt um so a little bit more fitted something that when you put it on you're not you don't feel like you're going to go in the garden and do the gardening or go and creosote in the fence in type of t-shirt you know what i mean like a slob out t-shirt i didn't want that and when it, when the description says you know it's a boxy type t-shirt fair enough that's what it says it is. But since I've made these two, I, I now realise I don't really want the boxy type t-shirt. I want the fitted type t-shirt, like the one I'm wearing. But at least I've had a go at trying the different, six different styles now, and I know what I like. So something good has come out of it. And also, I'm a whiz now, sewn up t-shirts. I only use a few pins, and I can whiz them up in no time. And my confidence has gone from here, right up here now in making t-shirts. I'm confident in making my own neckband, uh, confident in adapting the patterns if necessary. And also I've learned what the best jersey fabrics to use are. These two are made in fabrics that I got from Flamingo Fabrics. In fact, this one is too, a jersey cotton jersey with lycra in, 5% lycra, which makes all the difference compared to the other two I made out of that cotton jersey with no lycra in at all. And they have since been banished to my pyjama drawer. I wear them for bed, they're absolutely great for bed, but there's just nothing about them that I would wear through the day. So I've learned that. So it's all good in the end, isn't it? And I'm enjoying the process, absolutely enjoying it. So it's all good. And if it's increasing my sewing skills and my confidence in sewing, then that's that's what it's all about. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to like up my game a little bit more this year. I want to rather than just get a pattern in front of me and just take it as set that it's going to fit me. I want to start taking a little bit step back and looking at a pattern and thinking, right, yeah, it's my measurements, but is it going to fit me across the shoulder? Is it going to fit me around in the sleeves? Is it is it is it fitted enough? Is the neckline right? 
I'm going to start looking at that before I even start cutting out. And it's just, I suppose, it's just all a learning curve. And um, I want to get to a point in my dressmaking where I'm not just like set in my ways or, you know, a pattern's just in front of me and that's how I should make it. And after all, a pattern, somebody's designed the pattern, which is absolutely amazing. But that pattern is just a, a building block, really, for what you can do with that pattern. Because I think all patterns are there to be hacked, to be hacked into whatever imagination you can create on that pattern. So I'm now trying to, you know, obviously bring out my style because my style is definitely evolving, definitely evolved. It's evolved since I've lost my weight. I've lost three and a half stone now. I'm trying to maintain the three and a half stone because it, I'm just, it's still I'm dropping off and I don't want to lose any more at all. So th that's the hardest part. I never thought I'd be sit sitting here saying that I'm trying not to lose any more weight. Can you believe? I mean, God. But that's what I'm trying to do. So it's really hard trying to maintain my weight. And um, my mum tells me every time I go around, don't be losing any more weight. Or have you lost any more weight? You know what your mums do. Um, so yeah, so so my style is definitely changing, but it's still my style. So whatever it's, it was three months ago and whatever it's going to be in three months time, it's still my style because I'm living It's here in the moment. It's my style now. And I'm not going to look back and go, oh God, that was awful what I wore because it, it, or that or whatever, because in that moment I loved it and that's that's all I'm that's how I'm looking at things so I'm just taking whatever comes my way if I like it I'm going to make it if I like the fabric I'm going to use it and if I can now try and build my knowledge I'm going to try and adapt it hack it tweak it to make it me and that's what ultimately my wardrobe is all about it's going to be me when I get anything out my wardrobe, it is going to be me, what I like, what I, what style I want, just part of me. And that's that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to go, well, one of the main reasons why I came back into dressmaking, because I was sick of going into shops and just seeing the same old, same old, row after row, hanger after hanger, the same thing. And I didn't want to dress like everybody else. I didn't want to be told, you know, this is what, is available so this is all all you can wear no I want to wear something that I want to wear <laughs> so it's just I just absolutely love it I'm really really I'm enjoying my dressmaking and I said to my mum the other day she said oh, I can't wait to go out shopping and buying clothes and I says oh, I can't ever imagine me going out and literally going out saying should we go shopping for clothes I mean I'll go window shopping get ideas get inspiration but I can't imagine me saying let's go or me anyway Oh, I'm going to go out buying clothes because I just love making my own. So, often a bit of a tangent there, but I'm just trying to give you an idea, a bit of a flavour of what I'm about and what I'm trying to do. So now I've made these t-shirts, it's, it's just shown me what I like. So this one just cuts the mustard for what I like. As I say, it's a little bit too loose fitting, but I will wear it. It looks great tucked in with my jeans. And it's something you can I can pop on, and if necessary, I could wear it over a long sleeve t-shirt because that's what I like to do. Add a brooch, and it's good to go. It's a, quite a nice casual t-shirt to wear, and obviously, the fabric makes the difference. I'm trying to see if I've wrote anything else about it. Oh, there's no notches on this pattern, so if you if you like to follow notches, it might be worth adding a, uh, a couple of notches in the pattern. Um, to help you for the front and the back and things like that. You know, sometimes when you cut the front and the back out and you think, oh, which is all oh, for the sleeves and things like that. I added a couple of notches just so I knew which was the back of the sleeve and the front of the sleeve and what have you, but that's the only thing. I made my own neckband for this one and I did the 85% calculation and it's worked out perfect. And what have I wrote? I've put, it's a nice fit. Yeah, it's a good length, really good length. It's a little bit like the uh, Ab T by Dibby, the Dibby Club, very similar in length, very similar in style actually, and I like that t-shirt. Yeah, the neckline I did find, it is quite a wide neckline, and it, it, I think it can make me look a little bit um, lost in the neck area on this one. So if I did this style again, I would adapt the neck and bring the neckline in a little bit on the shoulders further in. But yeah, it's a nice t-shirt. 
So that is the boyfriend t-shirt by, by Life Source Savory. So moving on to my second one, and I'll pop pictures up. This is the Toronto t-shirt and a get by Rebecca Page. And again, I used the fabric from Flamingo Fabrics, really lovely cotton lycra mix fabric in this gorgeous baby pink. And I shall just pop it on Mabel so you can see what it looks like on Mabel. So I'll just swap, swap Mabel over. Right, so Mabel is suitably dressed. There we go. So again, another boxy t-shirt, and that's exactly what it says in the description. So I wasn't, you know, I wasn't expecting it to be a slim fitting t-shirt or anything like that. I knew it was going to be boxy. And I knew straight away when I was cutting it out, it's a lot shorter than it is. Um, but the neckline is a lot higher, which I prefer. I'll obviously pop some pictures up of me wearing it. I did the size medium. And yeah, I used her neckband pattern, but I think at next time I'm just going to go with the 85% do your own neckband because every time I've done that, the neckbands have been spot on. So that's what a little note I've done. It's just a little bit. I mean, I'm only, I'm being really picky here. Let me just, I don't know if you can see me, but you can see it. Just a little bit. Look at my arms. God, sorry. I really need to work on my arms. This is what I need to work on when I can get to the gym or do my yoga. But anyway, I can't, so, but yeah. Um, so I really like this t-shirt again. I've put, yeah, could, yeah, maybe a little bit of adjustment on the neckband for that one. And the seam allowance is three eighths of an inch. Really nice. Again, looks nice tucked in with my jeans, boxy style, quite masculine in look. It looks like you've borrowed your boyfriend's type of t-shirt or your husband's t-shirt type of look. I think it's because it's shorter. But yeah, it's a nice nice t-shirt. And again, because I've used a nice quality fabric, it makes all the difference. So that was the Toronto t-shirt by Rebecca Page. And again, I possibly could have got gone down to the small. I did the medium because I just followed the bod, you know, body measurements. I just I did the medium. But again, it's not meant to be a tight fitting t-shirt. So that's probably why I went for the medium because it isn't meant to be figure hugging or anything like that. Very little shape to it. But yeah, nice t-shirt. So these two have both just cut the mustard and I will wear them. I'll wear them with my jeans and, you know, liven them up with a brooch or, you know, something like that. And I'll definitely wear them both. So these two will be going into my t-shirt drawer. So moving on to the one I'm wearing, which is the, this is the one that I really, really like. And it's very, very similar to the Silene t-shirt, which I made. I did the pattern test and it's a free, another free pattern by Glasshouse Patterns. I love that t-shirt. This is very, very similar. So this is the, uh, now this isn't a free one. This is the one that's snuck in on my list. And this is the Orlando t-shirt by Seamwork magazine. So yeah, so it's in a subscription, online subscription, the Seamwork magazine. And if you obviously, if you subscribe, there's different options. And then you've got access to loads of different patterns. And obviously this is one of them. So I'll show you the original. I'll stand up and show you, I'll stand up and show you first. And obviously there's pictures of me in the garden. And it's just a lovely fitting figure hugging t-shirt, which is exactly what I was looking for. Something that's just not your average boxy t-shirt, something with a little bit of zhuzh about it. And I really do like it. It fits perfect. I did size 10, the Seamwork size 10, and it just fits lovely. It's really, really nice t-shirt. And obviously, the, you know, depending on the fabric you, you choose, you get the different look. So I chose the plain cream, same fabric from Flamingo Fabrics, really, really nice quality fabric. And I will definitely get um, some more fabrics from there again. And I just thought for a little bit of a change, I brought in that lovely floral t-shirt fabric that I had. I've got quite a bit left of this. 
and I just thought oh, I'll go really nice so I just did it with the sleeves and then again I added it to the neckline binding I just think it makes it look really pretty really pretty t-shirt and it's a good length so you can wear it over your jeans or tucked in or whatever you're wearing it with shorts you know trousers so it's a good length both ways and I just as soon as I put it on I thought yeah that's just it's just me it's just what I want and it's going to get well worn and it's going to be this pattern and the silene these are good they're going to be my go-to t-shirt patterns for fitted the fitted t-shirt look so I'll show you the pattern and you can see straight away it's fitted because they you know because of the cur the shape in detail on the pattern but the neckline, and I'll pop a picture up of the original neckline of the Orlando t-shirt, it's quite a low scoop, which is not what I wanted because I always feel cold around my neck. And if it was going to be quite low, I knew I was going to feel drafty or cold or bare. So I thought, right, now's the time. Now's the time, Jane, to be confident in your dressmaking a little bit more. You want up your game, so why not? adjust the neckline like I did with my ruffle sleeve top so I lifted the neckline up so there is the original neckline that's the line there the original so I just added a piece of paper and straightened it straightened the line I've got my French curve and just did a nice French curve to join the original the original line there and I increased it by I raised it by five centimetres so I was pleased about that and also the sleeve is quite a little like cap t-shirt sleeve as I say my arms do, really do need toning up so it's something I want to work on and I didn't really want a short sleeve cap really short didn't want that so because you can see there's the original sleeve length so before I cut it out, I thought about it. I thought, well, don't cut it out and then stick paper on just to have a look at it first. So again, I added five centimetres just purely by eye. I just thought five centimetres looks quite good. So I just extended the pattern by five centimetres and then just draw, drew my line down, drew my line down. And I've made a note, five centimetre lengthened for future. And this is the length and I really like this length and then obviously the neckband oh you'd be so proud of me honestly obviously that it comes with the neckband on this one but instead of me just cutting the neckband out I realized well obviously I've changed the neckline so that this neckband isn't going to fit so I measured my neckband took out took away the 85 percent divided it by two and it came out 31 and a half centimetres for my pattern piece which that's the original pattern piece so I just folded it over and made it 31 and a half centimetres and that is my new pattern piece for my neckband so I was really pleased so A I changed the neckline B I changed the sleeve and C I remembered to adjust the neckband so I know they're not I know they're not massive changes come on but it's a step in the right direction for me and my dressmaking. So I was really pleased. And to tell you, when I put this T-shirt on, I was telling John, I said, oh, John, I've, you know, I've adapted it and I've done this, I've done that. Wait till you see the big reveal and he's, hurry up and put it on and show me. So as soon as I put it on, I just knew. You know when you put something on, you've made and you just know. You either know it's not me, you don't like it, or yes, it's me. As soon as I put it on over my head, I thought, yes. So I'm having a good day. I'm having a good day dressmaking today. So I just thought I'd share with you if you fancied having a go at making t-shirts and you weren't sure which one's for you, you've got to make some until you know which ones are for you. It depends what style you're after. Do you want loose fitting? Do you want boxy, boyfriend style type of thing? Or do you want something with a little bit more shape, a little bit more fitted? So that's the thing to look out for when you're choosing your t-shirts. I know it's only a t-shirt at the end of the day, but you know, if you're wearing t-shirts as part of your wardrobe, you want to wear something that you like and something that you're going to, you're going to wear, obviously, because obviously two of mine have been banished to my pyjama drawer. But that's purely my fault there. Nothing to do with the style of those two t-shirts, purely because the fabric was rubbish. So there you go. So all in all, 
really pleased with my three t-shirts that I've made today. So that's six I've made. Whether I'll be doing many more, I'm not sure, but if I do, I'll vlog about them and I'll add them to my t-shirt series. And then if you ever fancied to see what they look like, check on my vlog, see if I've made them and then it gives you an idea what the the shape looks like, what the fit looks like, how the, how it was constructed or what the pattern details are like. You know, it just gives you, it's just like a little, I'm aiming for it to be just like a little t-shirt library that you can refer to before you go ahead and download them and it might not be for you. So that's today's vlog. I've enjoyed doing these t-shirts. Hope you've enjoyed watching me. Let me know what you think of this one I'm wearing and which t-shirts have you made? Have you made any off that list and which ones do you like so far? So I've got quite a few t-shirts now and I'll wear all of these t-shirts that I've made so there you go so thumbs up if you enjoyed today's vlog and don't forget to subscribe if you just found me and I've got lots more I've got my fabrics arrived to do my saw the look so I'm going to be working on that this afternoon and that should be with you by next Sunday and really really looking forward to doing that outfit and I've got a few other collaborations coming soon lots to do and lots more sewing but until the next time thanks for joining me and as always enjoy your sewing bye for now